a lot of people say and we have heard this very commonly that you know our emotions are manifesting as illness we have heard yeah. that it all begins in the mind we have heard it all begins in our internal world and we manifest it physically and we for example we say that grief is stored in the lungs you know so so and they really is every single illness self created if yes how exactly do we create it and could you please explain us this with examples yes yes so actually scientific research shilpa shows that about 40 to 70% illnesses and it's a wide range but 40 to 70% illnesses are self created okay but that is what the research says personally in my experience i would say 100% illnesses are created now it's not that we consciously create an illness mm. but as i said illness equals unconsciousness so unconsciously when you keep pushing things aside your your emotions when you leave them unprocessed over a long period of time they start accumulating and they become your illnesses now also in her book there is a neuroscientist called candice pert and she's written a beautiful book called molecules of emotions she actually did the research and showed that every time you feel an emotion mm -hmm. there are peptides which is a type of acid that gets released in your cells and those cells each cell communicates with each other by the movement of these peptides now when you don't express or process your emotion so it's not really about expressing because sometimes there are people who vent a lot but they still get unwell right mm -hmm. but if you don't process those emotions in a healthy conscious manner they get clogged and then they block the cells from communicating with each other and that build up of acid that happens in the cell then causes illnesses right so that's the first example mm -hmm. then there are lots of uh, lots of research that has been done that people who have anger let's say different emotions are stored in different organs mm -hmm. right so if there's a person with let's say a liver failure it's very likely he has a lot of anger issues right a lot of anger that has been stored over years and you'll usually see that these people also have like red eyes you know so you'll say bloodshot eyes he was mm. angry his eyes were red that's that's also connected to the liver then you will say as you said grief is stored in the lungs right so when you are have gone through something that really you know like usually when you feel sadness also you feel it in the chest pain yeah right then fear gets stored in the kidneys and your digestive organs are related to a lot of guilt and stress and hate there are multiple organs there so every part of your body is when it's unwell it's trying to communicate with you now even if we had to take something completely simple i'm going to make you all give me the answers now okay so tell me what is the function of your eyes vision vision right to see right mm -hmm. so if something happens to your eyes very i'm i'm going to simplify it like if you are mm. a five year old okay mm. so if something had to happen to your eyes i would start asking shilpa what are you unwilling to see that's mm. going on in your life but i don't want to see it okay so let's say i had a i had a person who came to me with a lot of irritation and red eyes so i'm saying who is irritating you so much to see every day Mm -hmm. and instantly you know there was that bhakti moment in her and she said oh my god yes <laughs> you know, there is someone right then uh, if somebody comes to me with digestive issues so you tell me what does the digestive system do what am i refusing to digest properly so it digests the food it helps you break down the food and absorb nutrition in the body mm -hmm. right so i would ask you what are you not willing unwilling to digest or unable uh -huh. to digest mm -hmm. or what is it that you are receiving in life so it could be love it could be respect it could be anything mm -hmm. but you are not able to process it and absorb it. it right then okay let's look at the excretory system what does that mm -hmm. do flushes out toxins cleanses yes. right it it so it's releasing right yeah, really so is. if somebody comes with constipation i would then know what is it that you're storing in your body right what is the shit you're not willing to let go literally mm -hmm. right it's mm -hmm. your bowel movements so what is it that you're not willing to let go of and holding on mm -hmm. right? somebody comes with the loose motions i will say what is it that you want to get rid of without yeah, yeah. Right? so your body is actually so beautifully telling you so you see in your lives notice 
the people who will have constipation on a regular basis they are the kinds who will hold on you know small small things mm-hmm. okay rakhte hain you know jaane nahi denge like ha usne us din ye kiya tha mujhe ye bola tha so these are the people who will keep holding on to little events and hence the constipation now uh, there there are everything from allergies to migraines to you know stomach pains irritable bowel syndrome acidity chest pains anxiety panic attacks excessive sweating body odor every little thing is communicating something about your emotional health so uh, osho says a very beautiful thing mm-hmm. your body is the external mind and your mind is the internal body and wow. they are beautifully connected it's not mind and body it's mind body right mm. there's something happening at you in your world emotionally it will reflect in your physical health right and to change your physical health or emotional health if you change one of the two instantly it has an effect like if you're feeling sad okay and i do this with clients who are suffering from overthinking or sadness i'll tell mm-hmm. them just start doing jumping jacks mm. so the minute you involve your body you can create a 10 times faster result just like that right so does that kind of give you an idea of how the mind and body is communicating and telling you things absolutely janki thank you for those big dance